All right, this is sixth grade Saxon math, lesson seven. The first thing we're gonna do is some mental math, but um, write your answers on a paper. Pause and come back in just a moment and see how you did. All right, welcome back. Letter A, number sense 800 minus 300. Only the hundreds place is going to change. I'm gonna change my pen to black. And it's going to be 500. B, 3,000 minus 2,000 gives us 1,000. 450 minus 100 is equal to 350. D, 2,500 minus 300 equals 2,200. E, 480 minus 80 gives us 400. F, 750 minus 250 equals 500. G, how many weeks are in a year? Uh, I think that's 56. Correct me if I'm wrong. Send me an email if that's wrong. H, how many days are in a year? I do know this one, 365 days. Okay. So our new concept today is lines, segments, and rays. So in everyday language, the following figure is a line. Um, however, using mathematical terminology, we would say that's a segment. A segment is a line that has two end points. Okay. A segment has two end points. A mathematical line has no end points. And if it's a line, you'll see it have the arrows at the end. A ray has one end point. You'll see it either look like this with a dot, or for some reason, they just have one arrow at the end. But I think it's most common to see a ray with this end point. Okay. Um, these are ways that you can measure lines, segments, and rays. You can measure them with inches, feet, yards, and miles. And if you have me for science, you know that's the U.S. system and that the United States of America are the only people in the world that use that system. Everybody else would measure that in millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. That is the metric system, and it's a lot more common. All right, I'm going to do my best on these. Um, I will need my ruler... Miss G's not prepared. We'll see if she's got one real close. She does not. All right. Um, fast forward the video and find where I come back to you. Um, but I'm going to go grab a ruler real quick. All right, I hope you have a ruler at home. Um, if not, see if you can print one, and if you can't print one, let me know. I'll try to have one here at the school for you. All right, sorry about that. So how long is each line segment? On letter A, they have the ruler shown. And let me double check. It is past the one inch mark. It is past the half inch mark. And it is not quite to the two. So when that happens, I'm just gonna draw it over here. Here's the one, here's the two. Usually in the center, there is a larger mark. And it is the half inch mark. And that is the half inch mark. And then there are smaller marks in between. And those are equal to one-fourth each. But each of, both of these are not equal to one-fourth because this is one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. But really, we never say two-fourths. We would reduce it and say one-half. So this line on part A is in, in, in inches, and it reaches this point. So it is one and... 
three fourths inches long. One and three fourth inches long. Part B, we are measuring in millimeters. And I see that it is between 20 and 30. And it's actually directly in the middle of 20 and 30. So you could count that, but if you know that 25 is the number that's directly in the middle of 20 and 30, you know that B is equal to 25 millimeters. Measure the following segment twice, one with an inch ruler and one with a centimeter ruler on C. I can't show you this, but um, maybe you could have a parent help you. I will tell you what you should get. This is on page 39 in your book. With an inch ruler, you should get two inches. And with a centimeter ruler, it is 5.1 um, centimeters. But if you only got five, that's just fine. But five and one tenth centimeters. C, um, that was C, D. Um, what is this figure? Um, is it a line, a segment, or a ray? It is a ray because it has one endpoint and one arrow. E is a line, has no endpoints. And F is a line segment because it has two endpoints. And which of these is not appropriate for measuring the length of a pencil? A, inches, B, yards, or C, miles. And it says which of these is most appropriate, not is not. Um, and that would be A, inches, because it's the smallest. Mrs. Howland to the office. Mrs. Howland to the office. Um, H. Why am I writing A again? You can tell it's the end of the day. I apologize. H. Select the appropriate unit for measuring the distance between two towns. I would not want to measure that in centimeters. I would want to measure it in C, kilometers, or kilometers. All right, let me know if you need anything. I saw this meme. It made me think of our, my in-class people for sure. Dear teacher, I talk to everyone. Moving my seat will not help. <laughs> I hope that made you giggle. Have a nice day, everybody. Let me know if you need me.